Welcome to Knowledge Kicks. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the S400 Triumph Air Defense System. To understand how this system works, we need to dive into its four main components. Long Range Surveillance Radar Command and Control Post Engagement Rada Launch Vehicle Let's look at them one by one. Long Range Surveillance Radar The 91N6E radar is the most powerful surveillance equipment in the S-400 system, providing critical information to the command and control post. This active electronically scanned array radar has 2700 TR modules and an upgraded design from its predecessor, the 64N6E radar, NATO reporting name, Tombstone. It has a panoramic detection system that can track up to 300 targets simultaneously at ranges of up to 600 kilometers. The entire setup is mounted on an MZK T7930 8x8 truck. Command and Control Post This mobile unit, mounted on a Ural truck, plays a crucial role in the system's operations. The Command and Control Post is responsible for managing all actions, related to the detection and engagement of airborne targets, from tracking targets detected by the radar, to firing missiles from the launchers. It is highly mobile, making it a critical component of the S-400's agility and adaptability in the field. Now, let us discuss the engagement radar, or the fire control radar. 92N6E is the main fire control radar of the S-400 system. It is a multifunctional radar with a range of 400 kilometers. There are two optional engagement radars. The first one is 96L6E which is an all-altitude detector. The second one is 40V6MR. This radar is used to detect low-flying targets, which are using terrain masking, to hide from radar. The launch vehicle is a highly mobile system, that can be quickly deployed to any location as needed. It provides the necessary infrastructure, to launch missiles, and engage incoming targets. The launch vehicle is equipped with a missile guidance system that is controlled by the command and control post, allowing it to accurately track and intercept targets. The launcher system is equipped with four silos in which missiles are kept. There are four different types of missiles in the system. This is a short-range missile with a range of 40 kilometers. This is a medium-range missile with a range of 120 kilometers. This is a long-range missile with a range of 250 kilometers. This is a very long range missile with a range of 400 kilometers. Now let us discuss how all the components work in synergy. At first, the long range surveillance radar picks up targets. It then passes the information to the command and control station. The command and control center decides whether the target is friendly or hostile. It also decides or receives orders from higher command theater to engage the target or not. Once permission to engage is obtained, the command and control center then instructs the launchers to launch the suitable missile. Two missiles are launched at once in case one missed, other will do the job. Once the missiles are launched, these are guided to the target using the engagement radar. The engagement radar and surveillance radar constantly interact with each other to determine the trajectory of the missiles, based on the real-time location of the target. A single S-400 system has multiple launchers which can be placed at different locations. The command and control post can choose the launcher located in the most suitable location. At a time the system can track up to 300 targets, engage 80 targets at once and can guide up to 160 missiles simultaneously. The S-400 missile defense system is a highly advanced an effective air defense system that provides multiple layers of defense against various aerial threats, including ballistic and cruise missiles, drones, and aircraft. However, like any other system, the S-400 also has some limitations that are worth noting. 1. Limited coverage area. Although the S-400 is capable of detecting and intercepting targets at a long range, its coverage area is limited and it cannot defend against threats beyond its range. 2. Vulnerability to electronic warfare. The S-400 system relies on sophisticated radar technology to detect and track targets, making it vulnerable to electronic jamming and 
other forms of electronic warfare that can disrupt its operation. 3. Cost. The S-400 is an expensive system to acquire and maintain, and not all countries have the financial resources to acquire it. 4. Political constraints. The S-400 is a Russian-made system, and its acquisition can be subject to political and diplomatic considerations that may limit its availability to certain countries. 5. Integration challenges. Integrating the S-400 system into a country's existing air defense network can be challenging, requiring significant resources and expertise. 6. Training and maintenance. Operating the S-400 requires specialized training and expertise, and the system requires regular maintenance to ensure its proper functioning. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to our channel.